Okay, so today we're going to talk about the Chinese postman problem, a famous scenario in graph theory. And so what we have is we have what's first we have to recognize what's called an Eulerian circuit. I'm not 100% sure how to say this. I do know that this guy's name is Leonard Euler. And so it's o Eulerian is I believe how it's said. Um, but I will struggle with the pronunciation, but bear with me. Uh, no disrespect meant for Mr. Euler. So the, an, 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 an Eulerian circuit is basically a circuit, so it means it starts and ends at the same point, that travels along each edge exactly once. So Eulerian circuits deals with edges. This is all about edges, okay? So E, Eulerian, and edges, they go together. And I say that because the next class we're going to be dealing with vertices, so I'm dealing with edges this time. And so it starts and ends at the same point. So for example, I could, I mean, I could start here at A and then go to B and then go to C and then back to B and then to E and then to C and then to D to E and then back to A where it starts and ends the same place and each edge is first. And so it goes A to B to C to B to E to C to D back to E and then finally returning to A. It's okay if vertices are repeated but the edges are only once used. Okay and so along with that I know a connected graph has is a Lorient if there are no vertices that are odd. So if you recognize, so I need all even, I need even degrees is what I need, okay? So if I look at this diagram here, I can see the degree here is two, the degree here is four, two, four, and four. And so they're all even, so therefore this graph is a Lorient. And the weight of this, or the, the length of this postman's trail that he would have to circuit that he would have to travel is in essence you just take a look at all the values of the weighted scenario I got all these two so there's 10 plus 3 and so the weight of this circuit would be 13 is the minimum distance okay so there are also what we call Elorian trails or and these graphs are semi Elorian and so an Elorian trail is simply a trail, so the edges are not repeated, which travels every edge exactly once, but does not start and end at the same point. And so if we also notice this, if we look at our degrees, this here has a degree of 3, 2, 3, this is 3, 2, and 2. And so the key to this is if I want if it's going to be semi elorian it has exactly two vertices are odd and the trail has to start and end on these odd vertices. So if I'm going to make this semi elorian trail, I'm going to start, oh, let me I'm going to start at A or C. So I'm going to start here at A. I'm going to go from A, I'm going to go to B to C back to A to E, to D, and then I'm going to end off at C. And so my trail is A, as I said, to B, to C, to A, to E, to D, to C. And so my start and end point are the odd degree vertices. And so if we think about how do we know if it's going to be a circuit, so if the graph is a Lorian, we must think about the even degree. Now why this works, why this is the case. Because if I think about how this works, right, I must enter in and then enter out to get both those. But if I enter in and I enter out, I also have to, and if, if it's odd, that means I have to go back in again to cover the edge that would come in for it, and then I'm stuck in there and I can't go back out without it. And so it has to be even to go in and to go out from a various vertex. So let's try an example here. So, 
when we have this graph here, show that this graph is semi-Lorian. Well, if I consider this, I can see that this is an odd degree of 1, and this is also an odd degree of 3, and so therefore uh, A and D are odd, so it is semi-Lorian A part. B part says find the Lorian trail. So remember, I have to start on the odd vertices. So I'm going to go from A to B, and from here I'm going to go up to C, down to D, over to B, to E, and to D. And so with these Lorian trails, there is often more than just one way to solve these, or more than one trail that is possible for these scenarios, um, and you only just have to show one that exists. So here is one of them. And then finally it says, at an edge, so the resulting graph is an Elorian, is Elorian, so an Elorian circuit, outline the circuit. So here is my scenario, which would mean I would have to end up back at A. And so what I could do is I could add an edge that goes all the way from A, from D to A. And so what I would do, I would do the exact same circuit I just did. I would go, so C part will be from, so I'm going to add segment AD, and I go from A to B, to C, to D, to B, to E, to D, and then back to A. And this is one that would satisfy the Elorian circuit. It, there may be other ways to make the circuit, and you only have to show one.